All right, so I went to sleep late last night and woke up early this morning to install this only because I needed to start another mod as soon as possible because it requires a 24-hour cure check. So without further ado, this is the Koyo Rad Racing Radiator. Uh, it has the 1.3 bar cap or 18 psi cap to improve surface friction and raise the boiling point so it increases pressure in the radiator that way it just wicks away all the bubbles that way it doesn't cause any hot spots so it raises the boiling point pushes all the bubbles up where they need to go and then uh, we got grim speed hoses for the radiator they're five ply hoses super strong super tough nice and red and then i just replaced the oem thermostat for another oem thermostat um, I don't need anything cooler than what we have now, otherwise it'll take forever to warm up in the morning. So let me clean up and then I'll go to the next mod. Okay, next part to install is the Get a Dom Tuned Number 4 Combustion Chamber Cooling Mod. Uh, made by Dominic Asia. Hope it didn't kill his name, but here it is. It's a uh, 5 8 inner diameter cooling hose, which is really flexible. Okay, won't kink easy. We've got a one off uh, fitting here that's threaded to um, specifically the cylinder head on Subarus. So you can't find this on any Home Depot or Lowe's stores. Uh, this is completely custom made. We got an Otica clamp already cinched down to it. Now, I've been seeing a lot of negative feedback on social media or everywhere that has anything to do with this, okay? People complaining about the price. I mean, I paid about $100 to get it shipped here, okay? And I can't find this in Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store, okay? This, I mean, 5 8 you're gonna find probably plastic ones, okay? That's unreliable, that probably crack over time. This is aluminum, I wanna say, very high quality, right? And then, like I said, this is a nice hose that it's hard to kink. I mean, you have to really go all the way, right? It's, it's a really high quality hose. So he's already done the testing, all right? He's compiled all the data, and there's even videos of it, of him showing you how much of a difference it makes. So if you were to say that this is not worth buying, uh, good luck. I'd like to see somebody make this for less than what he sells it for. So Dominic is a small business owner. You know, he has his own business to make a living. And he makes a living by catering to the needs of others. Okay? So what does that mean? That's capitalism, man. So yes, I challenge anyone to make this for less than what he does and see how good it runs. But anyway, let's get to the install. All right, so we're under the car. Here's the transmission. Here's the driver's side axle for reference. And we have the steering input shaft. And right here's a cylinder head, okay, driver's side. Here's your uh, air pump secondary injection line. And if you look right there, that's the port that we're going to take off. And I've already loosened it and cleaned the threads. So this is a uh, hex drive plug, uh, 12 millimeter to be exact. So make sure you have that. And right here is the heater hose that you're going to tap into with the T. All right, so this is the return hose for the heater core that goes back to your water pump. Okay, so that's a suction line. The other side, uh, the silver the silver line right there on the right side, this is the line that goes to your heater core. So you want to tap it to this. Okay? So this is a return line. So by tapping it, by tapping, tapping it from here to the return line, it's going to create a vacuum of sucking all that hot coolant in the cylinders or in the combustion chamber uh, in the cylinder head to back to the the water pump okay so since the other side let me take you to the other side all right so i'm under the turbocharger okay and you can see this coolant holes right here with the the heated sheath 
Okay, so that's actively pulling uh, hot coolant out and it'll cool this, the turbocharger. Okay, so as soon as one and three already has provisions for that, whereas number four does not. And that's why number four always fails first. It's always prone to knock because it's super hot. Um, installing equal length headers will only band-aid the ability to extract heat by having equal cylinders or equal cylinder or header runners so to speak and um, I believe that this will be a good addition to help combat that and give you a better headroom for uh, reliability as far as your tune because we all know number four is inherently hot all the time because of that so we found where we're gonna put it and we've cleaned the threads make sure you clean these threads okay so they want you to apply some ultra gray gasket maker soon and we're gonna apply it on the threads you don't have to put too much just enough to get it spun and sealed okay so we do that we're gonna spread it all around Make sure it's spread evenly. Don't get it inside the hole so you don't want sealant going inside your engine and have a bad day. But I'm going to spread that up and then we'll position it up into the cylinder head. Alright, so got it in position. Um, requires a one inch wrench, uh, crow's foot to be exact. I don't have that. I've been fighting with it with uh, a crescent wrench. It's not fun, but it's slowly getting there. You know, I'm kind of used to this. I'm an aircraft engine mechanic, so there's worse things to reach than this. That we got to get fancy with our tools, with basic tools. But that's one uh, tool that I did not get uh, because I didn't read the instructions prior to, or I didn't read all the instructions. But anyway, so I just got to get a, more few, a few more turns out of that. Uh, and then I just left this here loose. I didn't in install the clamp yet because we have to route this up here. So if we were to clamp it like this, you know, you'd be twisting it and kinking it. So it's best to leave this loose for now. Um, so this is the line that we're going to tap to. Uh, I might have to remove some of this insulation here to get to that because that's the best uh, route to take to avoid any snags, say like next to the uh, steering linkage. Go close, it's pretty close. Uh, there's some, there's, there's a good gap here, but from here, it looks like it's touching, but it's not. So you wanna get somewhere, or you wanna get clear of, you know, get in a spot that's clear of everything. So this is gonna be it. So this is uh, the line right here. Remember, this is a suction, which is the black line, okay? That's the one that's going back to the water pump. All right, so the fitting is tightened down. Don't go too much on it. Uh, per the instructions, if you have torque specs, go ahead, I guess. Uh, right now, back to the T-fitting. I've removed some of the insulation. You can see right there, whatever adhesive that was applied to it, I just cut it out. Um, I guess, oh, I, one thing I forgot is that you have to drain your coolant for this. So you have two choices. You can do that pinch. You can get a pinch clamp and cut it, cut the circulation here, and and cut it off. Or you have the option to get a nice green bath of glycol all over your face. Uh, it's up to you. But um, I'm gonna cut it from the top of the engine, not down here, and then attach this guy to that, and we should be done with it. Okay, so I got the T spliced right here. Um, it's pretty fun. So I thought it was slick by clamping this side towards the heater side, but there was actually some residual fluid here. So when I cut it, I got a nice bukkake of uh, green glycol all over my mouth. Luckily, I had uh, some eye protection. I tried going from the top, but there's no way I could reach, especially with my short uh five six height and with the car jacked up uh wasn't gonna happen so 
yeah, so it's right here now. So uh, this is it. This is all that's uh, involved with installing this. That end to this end, and then we clear. I mean, I can probably rotate it more this way to clear the steering linkage. Other than that, all I gotta do is clamp all that stuff and uh, wait about 24 hours from, I wanna say, 45 minutes ago. So, that's it, man. And then I can go ahead and burp the system tomorrow. In the meantime, more parts to install. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. See you guys later.